Hi and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Ali and I'm a young mom to my 17 month old son Grayson. And if you're a returning subscriber, hello and I'm glad to have you back. I know it's been a long time since the last time I posted. Um, I kind of just made this video to fill y'all in on what's been going on, why we kind of stepped back for a little bit and what's coming next for us. First and foremost, I want to thank you guys for helping us reach our goal of 5,000 subscribers before the end of 2020. I think we reached that in about middle of December. And so now in 2021, my next goal is to get to 10,000 subscribers, which would be just absolutely insane to me. When I started my YouTube, I think it was April of last year, I was hoping to get 1,000 in a year and I thought that was even unrealistic for us. But, but here we are um, probably eight, nine months in with 5,000 subscribers and I could not be happier. So thank you so, so much. Now let's hop into the video. <laughs> posting as much and kind of just what's been going on there. I've touched on it a little bit on TikTok, but I just wanted to go into greater depth. The main reason I have not been posting as much is because stuff has gotten really crazy for me for work. I am a travel nurse recruiter for a medical staffing company. And without going into too many boring details, I usually just recruit travel nurses for short-term travel assignments but with kind of just how the world is right now, there was a need for me to help hire nurses to give the COVID vaccine and to COVID test. And so my job kind of changed for the month of December where I, instead of doing my normal job duties, I was directly hiring nurses for COVID related issues. Um, we just had a ton of job orders and we had to fill them super quickly. And because of that, I had to put more hours into work. My job asked us to try to work 12 hour days, which for me was honestly super challenging. I would show up to work at 6 a.m. and work for 11 or 12 hours. And that was really hard because I wouldn't see Grayson in the morning because he would still be asleep. And then I would get home and be with him for an hour before bed. And honestly, I felt like it was just pushing my limits. You know, I think it's really hard. Sometimes in society, I feel like there's this expectation for you to work like you don't have children and to parent like you don't have work. It was a, a very temporary situation. I'm no longer working that much, but it is challenging to balance parenthood and work at times. And that's something I hadn't quite experienced yet up until this point. In general, I think it's really hard to be working a full schedule and to be a parent, you know, sometimes you feel like you're missing out and that's probably my least favorite part of all of it is feeling like I am missing out, but I do cherish all the time I do get with him. I really take advantage of those few hours I get at night and I love our weekends together and I think overall it just really helps me to appreciate the time I do get to spend with him. But as I said, I'm not working those hours anymore. I'm back to my normal eight hour days. And so having that balance in my life again has definitely been helpful. Matthew's been picking up more Postmate hours. Um, we kind of went back and forth for a while, um, deciding whether we were going to have Matthew work a real job, which I kind of hate that expression because in my opinion, if you're making money and if you're working, it's a job. I mean, even stay-at-home parents, that's it's a job, even though they're not getting paid per se. But I think you understand what I'm saying, a traditional job, but he started applying places and realized that for the hours he was working and for the extra we'd have to pay daycare, it wouldn't really be worth it. And so instead, 
We've kind of just established a DoorDash schedule as if it were a real job where he has a set amount of hours that he needs to do every week. And when we broke down the numbers and the math, we found that he can make more hourly door dashing than he would have in a traditional real job. So we're sticking to the door dashing for now. He's still looking for EMT jobs, but he's not gonna work you know, at a restaurant or in retail in the meantime. Um, he's going to just be door dashing more hours than he was before. And he started doing that and it's been working out really well. So we're gonna keep on that path. Gray is still in daycare and he's doing super well. I love getting updates from his teacher whenever she's able to send them. I think our most recent one, she said he's getting more and more independent and he's finally napping good at daycare, which is a relief and playing with other kids, whereas he used to be a little more clingy. So I'm super happy to see those changes in him and that he's adjusting well and, you know, kind of spreading his wings a little bit. <laughs> For now, we'll keep him in two days a week, and during the times that he is in daycare, Matthew is able to do his schoolwork, which he will be wrapping up, I think in August is when he'll graduate. One thing that I've been excited to announce, and I already did announce on my TikTok, but if you missed it, we reached the goal we had set last year for how much money we wanted to have saved up to move out. I'm not going to say how much that is because I feel like that's kind of personal and I don't know, that, that number might look different for different people for how much you think is an appropriate amount to have before moving out or all that stuff. But this time last year, we set a goal and said once we make this much money, we feel good about moving out. But when we set that goal, um, well, the goal has always been we've wanted to move out before Grayson is two. And right now he's almost one and a half. So we reached our goal about six months early. So that was really exciting. And we are, I don't think we're gonna move out now. We don't have any plans to. My parents are actually gonna be gone for a while in Florida. So it would be more advantageous for us to stay here and save as much as we can. But it does give us some more flexibility before we'd be moving out um, kind of in a questionable position like we still definitely would have money saved up but I think it would be a lot harder now we have the opportunity to almost double what we intended on moving out with and it just gives us more options it's very likely we still will be renting just because we don't really know what we want long term but um, we could probably get a little bit of a nicer place now or just have more wiggle room and not feel kind of scared or um, in, in, or have like a certain level of instability. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still gonna be hard being out on our own for the first time, but I feel a lot better about it. And additionally, we've even talked about maybe even buying. I mean, that would be absolutely crazy, but having this extra time to save more is opening up those doors for us. And if there is just the perfect situation where we love the neighborhood, we love the house, we apply for the right type of loan, first time home buyer type of stuff. And if it just makes sense, then yeah, of course we'd do that. So there's just a lot to think about, but I'm super excited about the possibilities and where this is leading us. And I also ultimately wanted to thank you guys. I mean, graduating and getting my adult job has been huge and super helpful to us and just completely has advanced us in our journey to move out and to be independent. But in addition to that, TikTok has been huge in social media in general in helping us reach our goals as well. Not only are, do we have my income from work, but we have my social media income as well as Matthew's door dashing. And I just can't even thank you guys enough for how much it's really helped us to reach our goals faster and I know provided so much support. And in addition to the fabulous things you guys send me from your small shops, um, toys to Grayson, stuff off our Amazon wish list. I just, I could never say thank you enough. It's just so special to me that so many people that I've never even met care so much about our lives and, oh man, I'm, I'm rambling, but just know y'all are the best and we're so, so thankful. A year ago, you know, we had, I had set that goal not even knowing if we would reach it by the time Grayson turned two. And I was working, it was the first time I started to work after having Grayson. Um, I worked part-time, like two days a week, not even full shifts. And 
every paycheck, like every two weeks, I'd bring home like $200 or something like that. And I was just thinking, man, like, I don't know how we're gonna figure this out. But, you know, within a year's time, our life has changed completely. And that just goes to say, I can't imagine where our life's gonna be a year from now. And I think that's really exciting. I think I've said exciting so many times in this video, but I am just excited and I'm tired and I'm exhausted and I feel like I'm, you know, pushing myself like no other, but ultimately I'm super thrilled and excited to see where we're going next. I feel like there's just so much ahead of us and that we're finally starting to get up on our feet and to start making moves and doing things. I really want to work on more on growing this YouTube channel. I started this YouTube account before I was even on TikTok and it has been a big passion of mine and I really want to be able to put more work into it. Um, that being said, I don't know what direction I exactly want to take my channel in. I know a lot of it's been family focused and some of it has just been motherhood, young mom focused. So. If you guys want to let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the comments, that would be super helpful. Ultimately, I'm going to make content that I'm inspired by and makes me happy, but I would love to hear what interests you guys and what kind of stuff you like seeing. It seems like lately you've liked the vlogs a lot, which is convenient because it's just us living our life and I can show you guys what that looks like, but at the same time, I sit at work for eight hours a day and I can't film that whole section of the day, and so I feel like it's a little limiting. Um, but other than that, um, I can do sit downs, hauls, whatever. So yeah, just let me know. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Again, let me know what other videos you 